Wait until you hear this. Uh, Second Amendment fight for vets firing off right now in Washington, D.C. 99% of those on the federal gun ban list for being mentally defective are placed there by the VA. But as Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley points out in a letter to Eric Holder, can you really be considered mentally defective just for needing financial assistance? Here to explain what that means is Fox News contributor Katie Pavlich. Uh, Katie, good morning to you. Good morning. So as it turns out, the VA can notify the feds, hey, this person is mentally defective because they came here asking for benefits. They couldn't figure out how the VA benefits work, so mm -hmm. they're mentally defective. So they can't right. have a gun. Right. Essentially what the Veterans Administration is doing is they take these veterans in who need help with their finances and in return they report them to the federal gun ban list at DOJ and their second amendment rights are effectively erased because if you need help with your finances at the VA then you are deemed mentally defective and therefore you should right. not be able to own a gun. Now the important thing here is the VA standards A aren't allowed by federal regulation. They don't have the regulations on their side to do this. And B, are only limited to finances and have nothing to do with whether a veteran is a, a right. harm to themselves or others. So this sure. is effectively a way for them to attack the Second Amendment rights of veterans and it has to be changed. You know, because it is so complicated uh, navigating the way the federal government works, to ask for help uh, mm -hmm. with your VA benefits is like asking for help with your taxes. We don't understand how it works. We ask right. for help and then we're deemed mentally defective people at the VA. Is, is this just a backdoor way of keeping guns out of the hands of people who know how to operate them? That certainly seems to be the case. And if we want to talk about people being mentally defective with finances, and every federal government agency <laughs> in Washington, D.C. would be deemed mentally uh, defective. You're and right. So, you know, this is a, a direct attack on the Second Amendment rights of veterans. It has to be changed. And I would right. hope that Congress does something to make those changes because it's absolutely unacceptable. Katie, exit question. Why are they doing this? Well, they say that, you know, they're using a federal regulation that allows them to put, a, you know, as you said, 99% mm -hmm. of veterans on this list. But the fact is that that regulation only applies to regulating finances, has nothing to do with Second Amendment rights. Right. And so Senator Grassley has sent a letter to Eric Holder saying, you need to explain yourself and we need to know why the VA is putting so many veterans on the federal gun sure. ban list and deemed mentally defective. And 99% oh, of the people on that list are coming from the VA, the other departments, they think everybody's just fine. It's, it's right. all messed up. Katie, thanks yep. very much for getting up early on this Tuesday morning and being Thank with us. Thank you. All right. What do you folks think about that? Email us, friends at foxnews.com. It's crazy, right? Yeah.